Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're new, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back. I love you. You know that I love you. Okay. Now in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be sharing with you a few tips. You know, I don't want to say 10, but it's 10. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing with you a few skincare tips that I've learned over the years since my last skincare video. I do have a skincare video where I shared a few tips where I, I actually saw that you guys liked that video. It was very informative for a lot of you. Um, got a lot of views on my Instagram as well. So I figured, you know what, why don't you come back with some updated, updated tips, okay? updated tips <laughs> so i'm here again with updated skincare tips that i'd love to share with you guys these tips are geared towards or a lot more for oily skin or combination skin or acne prone skin if you have large pores oily skin combination skin acne prone skin this is the video for you okay skincare tips that you're gonna need let's get in <laughs> All these tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys are things that I do myself. They are practices or steps that I don't joke with myself. If you know me, for me, skincare is such an important thing. Like, I will never go a day without skincare. I mean, yeah, sometimes life happens. Sometimes you're stressed. Sometimes you sleep early and whatever, whatever. But skincare always comes first. That brings me to my first point. Skincare always comes first. Skincare first, makeup second. That is my quote. That is what I always say. My first point that I'm going to share with you guys is skincare should always be the first on your menu. When it comes to taking care of yourself, it should always be the first. Don't put makeup first. Makeup is only supposed to conceal things. You know, makeup is only supposed to make you look cute, go out, blah, blah, blah. But I say this thing every time. Imagine if your actual skin doesn't look beautiful and then you top it up with makeup. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> nothing, my love. Nothing. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of your actual skin in itself, doing the things that your skin loves. That way, when you put a little bit of makeup, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you just need to add a little bit of makeup if your skin is good and then your your whole look goes up. So skincare is the first thing that you always want to consider. I spend so much money on skincare, a lot more than I do on makeup. I have makeup products that I've used for years <laughs> and I, I'm always buying skincare. Like I'm literally always buying skincare. Like if you gave me an Amazon voucher today, I'll buy skincare. I'm gonna buy that skincare girl because Skincare for me is, is is what it is, okay? Skincare is what it is. I have my points listed here on my little notes pad. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna be going through them. The first step, like I said, skincare first, makeup second. <laughs> and then my second thing that I'm gonna say is skincare is a form of self-care, okay? I know you wanna hear all the tips on skincare but i just had to start with these two points because i need you guys to understand that skincare is not a chore it's not it's not a job that you have to go to it's not a nine to five it's not me sitting here and filming a video and talking and editing the video and upload it is not a job it's something that you're supposed to see as a lifestyle it's a form of self-care just just as you like drink water that's how i see it that's how I, that's how i see it like i'm always doing my skincare like no no matter what even if i don't take my shower in the evening which i sometimes do not i will still do my skincare you know what i mean so skincare is a form of self-care is is you sitting down and saying that you know what i'm gonna take care of this skin and it's not just your face your body care you know doing my nails taking care of my hair all of that for me is self-care hair care all of that for me is really a form of self-care it makes you love you more it makes you know your skin a lot more that's the only way i got to know that i have really dry areas in my like on my face because i thought my whole face was oily in the beginning and then now i know that my skin is a combination skin so skincare is a form of self-care you need to dedicate time to do it doing it 
listen to some music, you know, drink some wine. If you're not a wine person, drink some lemonade. I'm lemonade. I'm such a huge fan of lemonade. I drink lemonade a lot. Um, iced coffee, whatever you want to do, anything that will make the process a little less tiring, tiring for you. I'd advise that you do that music. Listen to some clubhouse, you know, like while you're doing your skincare, just make sure that you're seeing it as a form of self-care, just like you pray. That's it, okay? <laughs> Do not forget that. Now, into the actual tips that you need to know. First, first thing that I'm gonna say is over exfoliation. Over exfoliation or over exfoliating your skin is not doing your skin any good. Um, over the past, over the past year, I'd say, scrubs have been canceled totally. Let me just tell you that. I mean, now research has made it visible, made it possible for all of us to know that scrubs are a lot more tougher on your skin. The scrubs that we use that has the little, little beads in them, you know, the bursting beads that you use on your skin, they might feel good. Um, they might make you feel like your skin is properly cleansed, whatever, whatever, but it's too tough on your skin. Okay, it is too much for your skin. So instead, what I've resorted to doing is masking. So I don't use scrubs any longer. Um, um, I'm such a mask girl right now. I'll do um, a mask maybe once or twice a week, depending on how my skin looks. But the, the best way to do it is once a week. If you need like a pick me up, usually that's what I do. If I need a pick me up, I feel like mm, I see that my pores are acting. I see that my makeup doesn't look good totally like it will always do i will mask at least once a week and that also definitely helps you to take dead skin cells off your pores are going to be cleaned all of all of your skin is going to come back to normal you don't need to use a scrub you you don't need it okay <laughs> like you don't even need it at all okay the skin that you have on your face is not the same as the skin that we have on our body so our body is a lot more stronger and tougher or tougher than the skin that we have on our face so that's why it's not advisable to use like body care products on your face um your body towel on your face you know you guys already know all of that correct because i said it in my previous video but your skin that you have on your face is very soft it's like a baby's bum so you want to take care of it with so much care and love you know so please cancel scraps from your routine cancel scraps from your routine. Instead, you wanna use stuff like AHAs, BHAs, you know, these actives that, um, chemical exfoliants that are going to do the work still, but they are not going to physically abrase your skin. Like, the scraps are just too abrasive for you. You don't need it. You would really do not. Instead, resort to chemical, what's it called, exfoliators, instead of physical exfoliators. Let's, let me say that. <laughs> My fourth point, yeah, <laughs> my fourth point is you need a moisturizer, first of all. I'm talking to my oily skin girls. My oily skin girls who feels, they feel like my skin moisturizes itself. That's what I used to say. <laughs> That's what I used to say. I used to say, my skin, my skin will just moisturize itself because it produces oil. So even if I don't put on moisturizer in the morning, by the end of the day, my skin will look as though it's being moisturized. And that's harmful to your skin. <laughs> that's really harmful to your skin your skin only produces excess oils because um i mean your skin is going to moisturize itself because it feels like it's not moisturized you haven't given it any moisture so she has to compensate and produce moisture for you you understand so you want to make sure that you're moisturizing even if you're oily you know the fact that you're oily doesn't mean that you don't need moisturizer you even need moisturizer <laughs> probably more than a dry person because your skin is overworking itself to produce oils just so that it can moisturize the face, which is not good. So if you have oily skin, please use a moisturizer. I beg of you, okay? Use a moisturizer. Your skin will thank you for that. My next point, which happens to be the fifth point. Yes, my fifth point is do not forget your sunscreen black girls this is not even an oily girl tip or whatever it's just a general tip sunscreen is very important it doesn't matter which season it is it doesn't matter where you live it doesn't matter what you think 
like it really does not matter anything you just need a sunscreen you can do a thousand and one skincare you can use the most expensive product on the surface of the earth if you don't top it up with sunscreen for your daytime routine you have done nothing it's cost 90 which is zero basically you have done nothing sunscreen protects your skin helps you with hyperpigmentation dark spot i'm pointing here because i have a lot of dark spots in this region of my face which i'm gonna get to later but sunscreen protects your dark spots from getting darker protects your um, what's it prevents your hyperpigmentation from getting darker skin discoloration all these kind of stuff under eye um, circles that look dark all these kind of things <laughs> you can use your vitamin C you can use your eye creams you can use your dark spot corrector whatever you have but if you don't top it up with sunscreen I'm sorry I'm just really sorry <laughs> it's like cost 90 it's like cost 90 even if you're indoors yes <clears throat> Now, I get a lot of that. People say, well, I'm not going out. Even I feel like that sometimes, or I used to feel like that sometimes. I'm not going out. What's the point? Why should I put on sunscreen? Apparently, <laughs> you need sunscreen every time of your life, except for your evening routine, except for when you're going to bed. As long as it's daytime, whether it's raining, whether you're indoors, whether, whatever, you're laying in bed, what, as long as you take your shower, do your skincare, please top it up with sunscreen. That's all I'm going to say. Sunscreen is very important. Sunscreen is very, very important. Okay, so moving on to my sixth point, I'm going to say, do not pop that pimple. <laughs> really do not pop that pimple and coming from me it's like i'm literally talking to myself <laughs> this is something that is so hard for me to do it's something that is so hard for especially for my husband oh my god my husband is such a pimple popper it's literally his middle name like he looks out for pimple on my face like he will literally be looking out for them and to him he feels like oh, obviously pimple is like um dead skin cells and death and pile up of whatever but you don't need to pop it instead you need to treat it so you need um a pimple treatment whatever to treat it it's, don't pop your pimples um they leave dark spots i wish i could show you guys i have makeup on so you probably cannot see but all over you probably can't see guys all over my, this area my chin area from here through to here i don't know what caused it but i had so many breakouts um in the past month or two and I popped it all. <laughs> I popped it all. My husband helped me to do it. <laughs> and now they've left dark spots that have been there. They've been, they never go away. You know, I do my skincare religiously. I do everything, but they are taking forever to fade away. So you don't want to pop a pimple. That's what causes dark spots. It does not, it's not good. It doesn't help. If you want to have smooth skin, clear skin, glass like skin, all of, all of the nice things that you see on social media, if you want your skin to be really great, you want to stay away from popping your pimples. It's hard, but you want to do it. You want to make sure that you're doing it because I am going to make sure that I'm doing it too. That's the only point that I'm sharing with you guys that I still have a problem with. Like if I don't pop it, my husband will pop it. My seventh point. <laughs> I said this in my previous video. I'm gonna say it again. If you sleep with your makeup, come here. Come, come, come here. Come here, let me punch your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, you know, like, but don't sleep with your makeup. Like, what are you doing? Do not sleep with your makeup. Um, even if you don't take it, I mean, yeah, there are times where you go out, you're tired, or you're too drunk to take off your makeup, you know, but at least use a wipe or a cleansing balm a cleansing balm is what i find the easiest to take off my makeup and another thing is a microfiber cloth oh my god that thing has helped me so much i probably will talk about skincare tools that i think that you all need okay because that stuff has helped me so much just a regular microfiber cloth you can get from any beauty supply store and you just need to wet it it's like a face the face halo that um <clears throat> that was trending some time ago you know it's it, it, it's beautiful the one that i have it works it takes off my makeup when i don't have whenever i run out of cleansing balms that's what i use even sometimes that's what i just use and then i'll cleanse my face with a cleansing balm my cleanser and then i'll do my skincare routine um 
take off your makeup okay that's that's the thing you want to take off your makeup imagine you want to have good skin you want to have clear skin you want to have smooth skin and you don't want to take off your makeup <laughs> what are you doing like what are you really doing where is the skin coming from the clear skin where will it come from <laughs> where will it come from tell me no tell me come and tell me imagine sleeping with mascara like i cannot <laughs> like i just cannot i take off my makeup and i'll still go in with a cotton cotton bat or yeah, wap or whatever they call it and I'll still put oil on that to take off my excess mascara excess glue like take off any in like I just cannot sleep with my makeup I cannot so um I'm gonna say that please try as much as possible to make that something you know make it a discipline for yourself tell yourself that I'm not gonna sleep with my makeup again um, no matter how many times I've done it, no matter how many times I think it's cool, it's harming your skin because it's, it's only at night time that your skin gets to, you know, rebuild, repair, do all these nice stuff that it, it can do for you. So if, <laughs> if it's wanting to work and it meets makeup, it's going to work with the makeup. It's going to work with the makeup, <laughs> you know, and makeup is just debt build up, you know, it's makeup. But yeah, let's be honest. At the end of the day, it's debt. At the end of the day, it's dead. We just want to clean it up. So, at the end of the day, make sure that you're taking off your makeup. Cleanse your face, you know. Do a very quick... I have a very quick nighttime routine that I do. When I don't want to do too much. Like, you don't have to mask every evening. You don't have to go through the entire process. Just a micellar water. You know, like, a few things. But make sure that you clean your makeup. Just make sure that you clean your makeup. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so to my point number eight... You want to make sure that you're knowing your skin and knowing what products are working best for your skin. It's very easy for you to get carried away with all of these skincare products that you see on social media, you know. It's very easy for you to say, let me try this because this person was trying into it. Oh, you made her skin look really good. Does she have your skin type? Have you asked? Have you done the research? Have you? Have you? Have you? So one thing about skincare is you want to know your skin type know what works good for you it doesn't matter if you try a thousand and one products as long as they are all products tailored towards oily skin you don't have a problem that's what i say you can use what use three different toners in three months as long as they are all oily skin friendly it's good you have no problem but don't go and use products that is dry skin friendly because <laughs> because it's trending or because everybody you know because your favorite influencer said you guys need to buy it or that no please as long as it doesn't work for your skin don't buy it, don't spend money on it don't waste your time on it it's not gonna help you in any way make sure that you're only buying what works for your skin type which means that you know your skin type now to my last but not the least point talking about buying skincare products and Yada yada. Not all skincare has to be expensive. Better, better. So let me say that. Not all. Not like your entire. You don't have to spend so much on skincare every time. No, you do not have to. The most important part of skincare that I'd say that you can invest your coins is serums. Definitely serums. They are your actives. They're they're like medicine basically serums are the skin that's what you use as your skin's medicine so yes you have a serum that is treating hyperpigmentation a serum that's treating maybe um what's it called hyaluronic acid for moisture you know retinol for um young looking skin all of that stuff you can spend money on that serums you should definitely spend money on your serums your eye cream spend money on your eye cream you know spend money on serums eye cream um all these actives, spend money on them. That's that's absolutely beautiful. But cleanser. Cleanser? No. You can just go to CVS and grab you a cleanser and that's still going to work. It doesn't need to be expensive. It can be $5. As long as it works for your skin type, a cleanser, you have no problem. A moisturizer, you have no problem buying a moisturizer from anywhere as long as it works for you. Okay, the only thing that I'm very particular about are my serums. Um, I'll barely buy a serum that I do not know, a serum that doesn't have good reviews because I'm particular because that's like the active that is going on my skin. But moisturizer, cleanser, you have no problem. People use, um, I use, what's it called? Alata Semina, how do you even say that? African black soap. I use African black soap, perfect, perfect. And how much is that? Not expensive. 
at all you know what i mean my moisturizer i use set uh, what's it called cedarfil and then i use garnier they are not expensive but they are nice they are nice for my skin type so with skincare not everything in your skincare routine has to be overly expensive not everything in your skincare routine has to make you break a bank for that you know i don't want you to get to a point where when you're not getting that skincare you're like oh, i don't have money to buy that skincare <laughs> so because of that you won't do the skincare <laughs> no for your serums you can save up money to buy that but for your moisturizers you know cleansers maybe toners <laughs> you don't need to spend so much money on it if you if you um if you have ones from drugstore that you use that are good stick to that don't follow the social media trends and you know don't know not everything in your skincare routine has to be so expensive no 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 okay for my last skincare tip what i'm gonna say is you always want to be sure that you're checking the expiry dates of your products. I'm pretty sure you ain't never think about it, <laughs> but a lot of skincare products. Let me see. Okay, great. I have my hair jam here. <clears throat> a lot of skincare products, unlike food, they won't write a date. They won't tell you expire best before expire. No, they don't do that with skincare. For skincare, they only tell you that, um, let me show you guys here do you guys see this this thing right here this the thing that looks like a moisturizer with the lid opened yeah so whenever you buy skincare products look 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 on the product so look around the label of the product you will see um a sign that looks like something that has been opened like literally like this there's a sign like this on the label. There's always a sign like that on the label. It looks like an open skincare product. And then whenever you see that, it also tells you, it also has something that is written. Sometimes it has 6M, sometimes it has 3M, sometimes 12M, 24M, you know. All this is trying to tell you that the product that you have, once you open it, once you open it, you have 12 more months to use it for. Or once you open it, it's only going to last you three months. Once you open it, it's only going to last you six months. That's what they're telling you. So they won't tell you that this product best before or expiry day produced or no. With skincare products, once you open and use it, you have just the number of months that they've written here for you to use so you always want to make sure that when you go to say wherever to shop your skincare make sure that you're checking that and be sure that um it's something that is going to last you for a longer time you know whatever you want to do it but just make sure that it's not expired and also make sure that it's not opened already because once you open it the time or the clock starts to tick for the product itself it, it will lose the potency after that time. It probably will not do the exact job that you want it to do after that time, you know? So if it's not an open product, then you're good. But once you open and start to use it, then um, that's, that's how long you have left to keep the product for. So always check the expiry dates for your skincare products, your self-care, body care products, hair care products, whatever. Whew. I feel good to have shared all of this with you guys. Finally, I've been writing these tips for what? The past, what, two weeks? I write one tip whenever I remember something that I feel like will be helpful to you guys. So I'm glad that I finally get to share all these skincare tips with you guys. Comment down below if you have any more questions to ask about skincare. I'll definitely be available to answer. And yeah, I hope that these tips are helpful. I hope that you take them at least into consideration, you know, and incorporate a few of them into your current discipline, you know, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. <laughs> See you guys in my next video, guys. Bye.